Once people know, like, you know, this is your business. Yes. For Robert Emmons, it started with The Sopranos. You never see a blue comet in that condition. A train from New Jersey's past and a story that needed to be told again. I'm interested in stories that tell, I guess, obscure moments in New Jersey history. And as I investigated it more and more, it became uh, not just a story about New Jersey, but a story about America. The creation of the Blue Comet sprung from necessity. The result is a new documentary called Deluxe, The Tale of the Blue Comet, the fabled train which ran from Jersey City to Atlantic City in the 30s. It's a train that history has tried to forget. 80 years later, not a lot of reminders of this classic remain. Seeing what is left of the train is evocative, but sometimes painful. The documentary is partly a first-person narrative to uncover what still exists and the attempts to preserve the artifacts and the nostalgia. I'm on this investigative journey to, to find out the history of this train and to bring it into the present. So, you know, in the end of the film, I'm in um, you know, one of the uh, observation cars at Booton. And that's what I really ask of the audience, is to, is to transport themselves to that time. A time when Atlantic City was truly America's playground and the Blue Comet was the way to get there. It really transposes New Jersey history to American history, which kind of shows our, our, our long relationship to the country and what we have to offer to the country. What are lasting, though, are the traces the train has left behind.